Hey everyone, it's Clay with Respect the Fish YouTube channel. I wanted to share with you some screenshots of white bass and hybrids that I've taken over the last three or four months. It's crazy how much my, how I have found these fish, how much that's changed uh, since when I first started three or four years ago. Uh, this year in particular, uh, I'm utilizing the 2D split screen with uh, down imaging. And I have been very successful with identifying fish on that and feeling comfortable that these are white bass or these are hybrids and then getting on top of them and then things coming together proving that what I saw and what I thought was correct. Uh, before starting off, I used 2D sonar a whole lot and then I, I would incorporate side imaging. And uh, there's a lot of good to that too, but basically once I started pairing my 2D sonar with down imaging and, uh, and then looking at the size of the dots on down imaging when I'm going two or three miles an hour, I can get a really good idea whether I'm seeing white bass uh, and if they're hybrids, I can tell because there'll be a bigger dot and there'll be a little bit more space in between them. But when you're on white bass, there's a lot of smaller dots. Sometimes they'll be kind of climbing on top of each other. That's pretty typical. Uh, and then as the weather's transitioning, as this is now fall and we just had snow on the ground, it's late October, 2020, 20, uh, I'm starting to see a lot more fish just kind of not stacked up on top of each other, but loosely related to each other. And then once you get on top of them and start fishing for them, then they stack up. One reason I'm using 2D sonar paired with down imaging is sometimes those down imaging dots don't show up very, uh, if they're outside the cone, you'll miss them. Whenever 2D sonar may happen to capture them and give you an idea that there's at least fish there. Uh, honestly, at this point, I could see myself just using down imaging as I'm driving and then pair it with side imaging. That's probably something I'll be experimenting with in the, the coming months. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoy the screenshots. There's nothing special about my sonar settings. Uh, they're almost on default even. I mean, everything's kind of halfway. Uh, the sensitivity can go to 20 and it mines at like 8, 9, 10, somewhere in there. Uh, there's nothing real fancy about it. Uh, in fact, I'm actually cranking up the sensitivity a little bit to get it closer to 10, just so it makes those spots brighter. Uh, but anyway, enjoy the screenshots. I hope they help you know what white bass look like and what hybrids look like. When I'm driving, I'm usually driving about two to four miles per hour to scan. One thing you'll notice is if you drive eight miles an hour, it's gonna show up totally different than if you drive five or two. And once you're stationary, uh, it, it is altogether a different uh, ball game. So anyway, I'm gonna show you some screenshots of me driving and then there'll be a few of when I'm spot locked on top of the fish. And you'll notice what the size of the white bass are on the down imaging uh, by the dots. And then I'll have some hybrids in there and you'll see their down imaging return once spot locked. It's pretty cool. Enjoy the video. I hope it helps you. Let me know if you have any questions.